The following program is sponsored by The Greek, Ely's Radio Shack dealer at 570 Altman in downtown Ely, and brought to you as a public service by Georgetown Media in Ely, Nevada. Regional Planning Commission meeting, December 21st, 2022. accepted from the general public, may prohibit comments if the contents of the comments are willfully disruptive of the meeting by being slanderous, offensive, inflammatory, irrational, or amounting to personal attacks or interfering with the rights of other speakers. With that, I shall open up for public comment. received any information as requested regarding the possible blocked alley behind 182 Fay Avenue. That goes back to July 20th this year. I have not received any information regarding the current letter issue of 488 Stevenson, how the lack of ADA access on the corners to be addressed. Again, it appears your city engineer surveyor is screwing up unless there's some mitigating circumstances that are not apparent. Mr. Chairman, I've yet to receive a copy of the correspondence that was sent to Bryce Craycraft, excuse me, demanded the installation of curb and gutter or no certificate of occupancy. It appears, again, you're selectively enforcing city codes. This commission and staff cannot discriminate and selectively enforce city and county codes under color of law. Why are you denying the issue? Mr. Chairman, I have yet to be issued a permit for application to be able to park behind the sidewalk in my property at 710 Avenue G, west side as well as the south side. To date, no one has addressed the one foot drop from my parking lot to the sidewalk at that location. Across the street at 725 uh, Great Basin Boulevard, QD installed two sewer connections on the lower lot. One that is, uh, <coughs> one lot has two sewer connections and the upper lot has none. Uh, at 733, the 733 is approximately 55 feet away from where the sewer connection is. It's not the city code. I want equal protection under the law. Mr. Chairman, I reported back in August 17 the individuals were planting trees in the sidewalk right away and have yet to address that issue. I've also uh, brought forward to you that some mobile homes are uh, being, in, <coughs> being brought in the community that are greater than five years old. If you do not address that, we're going back to September and August of uh, this last year. Mr. Chairman, the uh, drainage coming down from the Bath property entered and entering the Fetch Basin under the railroad track on 7th Street continues to go from bad to worse. Now you've got riprap that's been uh, spread out from the tracks all the way down to Ely Street. That needs to be addressed. Mr. Chairman, uh, State End Doc has yet to put in uh, ADA access on that new installation on uh, four, no, between 14th and 15th on Avenue D. The state should know better. The city knows better. The engineers know better, but you're ignoring the issue. Again, we either have rules and regulations for everyone, or we have them for no one. And the state of all individuals need to follow their own regulations. Mr. Chairman, I've not received any information uh, in regards to the blocked alley behind. Oops, repeating myself. I've got to start answering some of these questions, Mr. Chairman. 
Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I'm again requesting a complete list of uh, properties individual and individuals that the city has permitted and allowed RVs to park on the city lots or city streets while living in them. I brought examples to you uh, and you've not done anything yet. RVs, not RVs, more than home, set up, you're not putting any footing under there, and yet you're uh, mandating that people like Mr. Craycraft put it in or you're not going to get him, give him a uh, certificate of occupancy. You can't discriminate, and yet you continue to do that. I want some answers, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Thank you, sir. I'll be back. Okay, uh, public, public comment? you're not going to have any business at your house and no. it's going to be all outside of the area. Okay. Right. Well, um, I'm excited for you guys and looking yeah. forward to having you guys uh, part of the, the business world with that. So. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the more the merrier. Okay. So, uh, any other comments, Rob? Is there a simple name? Uh, mm -hmm. Maintenance managed. Okay. Great. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're on. Uh, uh, Kenna, do you have any uh, comments? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. No, I, I don't have any other comments or questions. I make a motion to approve. Okay. Can I make a motion to approve? Do I hear a second? All second. Rob seconds. She'll take a vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? It passes. Thank you. 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 Okay. We move from there on to item B. Discussion for possible action approval of a parcel map. Applicants Richard and Leslie Sears wish to divide parcel APM 012-160-18 to create two additional parcels for future sales. The address and or general location of property is White Pine County Road number 1120, South Spring Valley, Nevada, one quarter section southeast, section 27, township 14 north, range 67 east. Good evening, Fuzzo Surveyor of Record. Um, this is out in South Spring Valley, or south of the highway there. And it is a simple split, um, splitting a 40 acre uh, 
be extended to 20 acres, current zoning 05 that meets the zoning criteria, and it has uh, direct access to an existing county road for both parcels. Okay. The map doesn't show me three separate t parcels. There's only two parcels, Rob. We took one parcel and split it into two. Oh, you're not ending up with three parcels? No. Just two? Just two parcels, yes. Oh. Didn't it say three in the book? Maybe it didn't. Just uh, power is the only thing out there currently. There's sewer uh, septic. Uh, any development would have to be well and septic. Yeah. But nothing currently that nothing currently. Get the two. No, vacant land yeah. currently. Okay. And then the power is further east of that, is that correct? I'm not 100 percent sure where the power is at. We didn't address that on the survey. Okay. Um, it I, I I've driven on the road out there. I've never really driven in that area, but any issues with um, water, water runoff on one or the other? Uh, it's fairly flat. I, I believe probably the county road department's recommendations would be uh, culvert crossings for any new driveway construction. Okay. And then of course the right way still exists. Yeah, correct. The existing right way and existing improvements. Another question. Another question. In the second map, which isn't up here, the road that's actually going through that, is that a county road or is that just a road that's being used? Um, the, the road that going dissects the property is the county road. I'm not sure if there's an additional uh, two track or something that you're seeing from the vicinity map. It is showing a, a road going through there, but it's very light. And then there's a heavy show, heavy looking road that just goes right past you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not unaware of any other county roads. There could be some other uh, non improved roads crossing out across the valley there, though. So let me show you this so you can see what I'm talking about. an actual role. Correct. Any other questions? No further questions. I move to approve. I'll okay. second that. Okay. Andy moves to approve. Rod, I think uh, second. Can I all second it? Okay. And if yeah. can Rod, Rod already second. Oh, okay. And in that case, we will vote on it. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Passed unanimously. Thank you very much. Thanks, boys. Jennifer, I'll pick that up tomorrow. Okay. application for a variance. The applicant, Calgary uh, Real Estate LLC, wishes to set a manufactured home two feet closer to the boundary line than what the MH3 zone setback allows. This will be needed in order to maintain the required clearance for a ground-mounted transform that is in place. The property address and or general location is 580 Orson Avenue, lots 15 and 16 Ely, Nevada, Assessor's parcel number is 001-045-02. I just want to get letter received. Okay. 
I'll read this in for record. December 9th, 2022, PO Box uh, 154270 in Atlanta, White Pine County Building Department, by one Mill Street, to whom it may concern regarding the proposed application for variance by Calabria uh, Real Estate LLC, setting a manufactured home closer to the boundary line than what the zone setbacks allow. We have no objections to this variance. Thank you for the opportunity to respond to the application. Sincerely, Margaret and John Theo. I'm sure when I was supposed to stand up or phone <laughs> First time moving this guy. So. Ed Spear with uh, Calvary Real Estate. Okay. We're doing public comment first, and okay. then we'll get to the action item. Okay. If you have no other comment to make about it. No, I don't. Right. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, uh, this variance <coughs> should have been applied before setting up the modular homes in the trailer park. The home does not need proper setbacks. The home is not in harmony with the ED city code. This board continues to selectively enforce the law under <coughs> and discriminate, and that needs to stop. I applied for a variance years ago for a lot much larger than this, 24 by 100. I paid $340 and I was denied because the lot supposedly didn't read code. I'm in the same zoning. Uh, let's see here. Right now you've got three modular homes on blocks being set up prior to a variance being requested. What are you going to do if it's denied? These people spent a lot of money. I spent a lot of money. I pay a lot in taxes and get I can't use my property. I'm given a citation for $355 and I have to evict my tenant. And if you think this is going to continue, you're very, very wrong. You need to stop the discrimination. You need to start treating everybody the same. These homes can't be there. They don't meet the minimum code as set by the EV City Code. You people aren't paying attention. Do you have it in front of you by chance? Did you review it? Besides no, you need to look at that first. Counselor, you need to tell them that. Thank you. Okay, do we have any more public comment? Okay, just go on to uh, close the public uh, comment side of it. We're open up for discussion and possible action. Approval. Uh, proposed application for variance applicant uh, Calabria uh, Real Estate LLC wishes to set manufactured home two feet closer to the boundary line in this what the MH3 zone the setbacks allow. This would be needed in order to maintain the required clearance per ground mounted transformer. Property address and or general location is 580 Orson Avenue, lots 15 and 16, Ely, Nevada. A series parcel number is 001 045 02. Okay. I'll open this up for discussion. <coughs> Thank you, Chairman Ward. Uh, Ed Spear, Delaware Real Estate. Um, we purchased the three homes as real estate to start, try to get some of the uh, relief of lack of housing within our communities. We had a plot plan approved. We struck, uh, got a building permit as we started setting the first home. Unfortunately, we realized that the ground mounted transformer also needed the same clearance uh, due to any portions of possible uh, fire to the home. So we moved it forward thinking we were still within uh, the setback allowances. Unfortunately, we set the, started setting the home, put the ground anchors in, put it on blocks up to code uh, for uh, everything, including uh, the extended clearances for floodplain. Uh, and unfortunately, we came. Uh, we had the inspector come by and explain to us that we had been, went past that by two feet. So now the home is permanently anchored on blocks according to uh, the manufacturers and uh, code. Unfortunately, we're two feet too far. That's why we've applied for the variance um, in hopes to uh, 
keep that home in the place that it is and make it a, a nice resident for somebody in the community. Okay. Is that being that far off, even though that's a small amount, will affect anybody else in any way? Um, we sent out the letters as, requ as required, haven't had anything returned. Um, we stopped construction the second that we knew that we were uh, had an issue with, with a setback. Um, the next two homes don't have that same transformer issue, so they were able to be set two feet further back towards what we first initially had on the plan as an alleyway, which is actually Murray Creek. So those two homes will be set in those two locations according to the permits and, uh, and the codes. How much room what is supposed to be there? Um, we need two additional feet. Um, if we went directly towards the east, that home would have to be two feet to meet the, the front fences on the west side, actually on, a, on Orson Avenue itself, but which would encroach and put us into a dangerous situation with the ground mounted transformer and possible fire issues. But I'm curious, what, what, what should it be? Number of feet? Two. No. Oh, 15, uh, I believe it's 15 feet from curb. 15 feet. If I remember correctly. And 12, so 12 foot from curb. It's, it's 12 foot. 12 feet, excuse me, thank you. 15 feet. And then 10 foot from the. Oh. So 12, 12 feet from curb. 12 foot from the property line. Uh, the, from property, property line. 10 feet from the transformer. 10 feet from the transformer, 12 feet from property line. Okay. So it's now currently sitting at 10 feet from the. 10 feet from the curb line. From the parking line on Orson Avenue side, which would be the west side. From the sidewalk, not from the curb line. From the sidewalk. Correct. Yeah, I, I, I that, 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 that end of the sidewalk? There, yes. Yeah, along their property line. So um, I guess I do have one concern just in general, and this is, I'm just throwing this out there. Um, I guess, why was this put into the ground before this was, was really looked at? That's, that's one question I have, and, and I'm just going to throw that out there. I don't want an answer from you, okay? Um, but uh, I, um, I'm excited for you guys putting in these, these houses, um, and, and I really appreciate that. I think it's extremely valuable. Um, I think making that decision uh, was very appropriate. I wish we would have evaluated this prior to um, kind of the thing. However, um, getting it away from that transformer line is uh, of utmost safety. And I think changing from two feet off of the front of the house, for me, is not a safety factor. I mean, two feet versus versus an extra four feet, in, uh, or excuse me, an extra 10 feet is not that much of a safety risk. The reason why we have city ordinance and city codes is for safety. <coughs> and Mr. Chat just did explain to us uh, very politely that the um, uh, codes are there for a reason, and that's that is purely for safety reasons. And um, this decision was, I'm sure, made um, out of the safety of the entire um, the entire lot area that's back there. And I and I think that was a great decision. I um, so I I don't have any questions about this. I move to approve. Um, the and I'm glad that we adjusted the rest of the housing on the offset. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I I walked that yesterday, and I noted that uh, that yeah, there's uh, the, the problems involved in that is because that that transformer is sitting right off the rear end of the, uh, the manufactured house, and if we move it, set it back the two feet, it's going to uh, it, it, there's going to be a problem with uh, with clearance. So it, it needs to be ten feet. So with that, that in mind, we can't move it over because then we'd have to change the cutout in for, for road access coming out of the property. So it's basically there's only one place for it to go, and that's two feet toward uh, toward the curb. So uh, no matter which came first, did, did they, uh, was the power box put in before the decision was made for a... Uh, Absolutely, the power, the power box was put in there <coughs> Uh, Chairman, I, I can't give you the exact date that was put in by the prior owner um, when they had developed that plot. I'm not sure how many years ago. <coughs> According to the plot plan, we thought we had 
we had enough space, that's why we continued. And then unfortunately we found out that we weren't. That's when we stopped all construction, um, put everything on hold uh, until we could get the, the matter uh, addressed. And you had the proper spacing two feet off the ground for floodplain and everything else, so. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Uh, different anchors as well. Um, manufacturing home in, in uh, floodplains had to have the screw and anchors compared to a regular pound in. So yeah, all those have been put in place as well. So is it the proper distance away from the transformer? Yes, sir. Okay. That being the case, I, I don't have a problem with it. Okay. Well, I've got a motion to approve from Andy. Do I hear a second? I'll second it. Okay, we're all second. Uh, Kenneth, do you have any questions? I do not. Okay. Um, well, we, need, we need the housing, so let's take it to a vote. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, it passes. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Okay, we move on to 2A, public hearing. The purpose of the hearing is to consider a proposed application for a variance. Applicants Kevin and Angel Miller wish to build a carport two feet closer to the boundary line than what the MH3 zone setbacks allow. The property address and or general location is 214 Fay Avenue, Lot 17, Block 1, Ely, Nevada. Subject parcel number is 001-123-19. Two concrete driveways, one on the left of the house, one on the right of the house. So one on the right of the house, we'd like to put in a metal carport. And in measuring, if we don't get the variance, it's going to be very difficult to open our car doors when we put both cars into the carport. So we're just asking that the right back post be set three feet from the property line instead of five. The house sits at an angle, so the, the carport's going to be at an angle with the house. So the front post is going to be four and a half feet away from it. It's the property line. Okay. Pretty simple. Okay. What's sitting on the other side of the, the, the property line is the new garage. So it's five feet from the property line. Okay. Any more public uh, public comments? I'll close for public comments. I'll, I'll, uh, oh, go ahead, George. Are we talking about five feet away from the property line? Yes. This or are we is talking two feet? Because the map I see is two feet, which is not in compliance with fire code. Are you it's, putting a uh, non flammable it's, it's a metal carport. Okay. So it's going to be. If it granted, it'll be three feet away from the property line. Okay. The map showed two. That's what my concern well, was. Other than being request, uh, It's supposed to be five, and I requested to move it in two. Okay. Okay. okay uh, any other public commentary? Close the public commentary. We'll open up for uh, discussion, possible action. Approval of proposed application for variance to applicants Kevin and Angel Miller. Wish to build a carport two feet closer to the boundary line than what the MH3 zone setbacks allow. Property address and or general location is 214 Bay Avenue, uh, lot 17, block one, in Nevada. My assessor's parcel number is 001-123-19. Can we open that up for discussion? I, uh, I was by there yesterday. I could uh, see what, uh, what the situation is. And the carport wouldn't be any further forward on the property than the house is, right. um, well, and the fact because that because of the angle, it will be a little bit on the right. So you're front. pretty much flush to the front of the front line of the house, right? Right. And then to to the uh, to the side, there's a there's a chain link fence, and then the, another the neighbor's garage is uh, what another five feet on the other side of the yeah. chain link fence. Yep. Yeah. And so yeah, there's three feet from that chain link fence, and I can see that. Uh, I see you'd have a problem 
you'd need to put two cars in there and you wouldn't have but room for your door clearance. Yeah. Let alone taking out that telephone pole in the middle of the driveway. Just a minor detail. Just a minor detail. <laughs> um, so, um, any any comments on that? Has the neighbor got any problem with this? 